Jetpack company comes out with electric VTOL concept. After giving the world its first working jetpack, David Maimon and company are bringing to life yet another science fiction dream, flying cars. Jetpack Aviation is designing a new single-seat electric multicopter equipped with six arms, 12 propellers, and landing balls instead of skids. Each arm on the VTOL aircraft comes with two propellers, one mounted on top and another underneath. They spin in opposite directions. The flying car will only be able to travel up to 90 miles per hour and operate up to 20 minutes before it needs to be recharged. Two of the middle arms will be designed to fold in so that the vehicle will be low and thin enough to fit inside a garage. Jetpack Aviation is currently developing a safety system for the project, with the team estimating that they will begin building the device in about six months. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more flying cars. Dubai to introduce flying drone taxis this summer. Need to go to work, but don't feel like waiting at rush hour? Dubai is set to go all Jetsons this summer by offering flying drone taxis. The Dubai Roads and Transport Authority has announced it will start operating drone taxis in July along predetermined routes. They will be using the Ehang 184 Autonomous Quad Opener Electric Drone to shuttle people around the city via air. The Ehang 184 drone can carry one passenger with a maximum weight of 220 pounds. The drone can fly 31 miles on one charge at a top speed of 100 miles per hour, although officials said their drones will operate at 62 miles per hour. Passengers will board the drone, buckle into a harness, and select a destination on the touchscreen before taking off. The Ehang drones will be monitored through a central command center on the ground. Airbus unveils a flying taxi. Airbus has announced its development of a flying taxi, which aims at solving traffic congestion worldwide. Airbus's electric flying vehicle is currently named the City Airbus. Test flights will be conducted in enclosed flight corridors at the National University of Singapore in mid-2017. The drones can travel to and from locations on the campus and port. Researchers plan to develop a machine vision system to allow the city Airbus to detect obstacles and function completely autonomously. Airbus says it envisions customers ordering rides in the future with their smartphones and city Airbus vehicles landing outside their front doors. Airbus is targeting this product to transport service providers such as Uber. They believe sharing the cost of a flying taxi by multiple customers could lower the price to nearly the same as a normal taxi ride. Uber reckons you'll be able to hail a flying cab by 2026. Ride-hailing company Uber released a very intriguing white paper last month. The nearly 100-page document envisions a future where commuters jetting city to city in compact aircraft could be as normal as taking the train to work. Uber's prediction of a world with commonplace urban air transit systems relies heavily on the widespread use of small self-flying electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing capability. Also known as VTOL, it's most commonly used by helicopters as well as a small number of military aircraft. Uber says a network of VTOL hubs or landing pads, dubbed Verti ports and Verti stops, could be used as terminals to ferry passengers around. Unlike cars, buses, and trains, VTOLs aren't susceptible to traffic jams or delays. They can fly from A to B with no fixed route. Uber estimates the cost of a 15-minute flight may eventually reach as low as $21. Uber expects the aircraft could fly at cruise speeds of around 150 miles per hour and won't go above 10,000 feet.
The VTOL would be powered by rechargeable batteries that would maintain 30 minutes of reserve energy. Uber won't manufacture the aircraft, but predicts the market will have produced them by the early 2020s. Uber needs to collaborate with governments and the private sector for this to become a reality. So that could take longer than a decade, especially on the regulatory side. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Paris gives go-ahead to flying water taxi trials. Ever wanted to take in the City of Light via a flying boat? Well, soon you might be in luck. Next year, Paris will test a prototype flying water taxi that will allow people to tour the city along the Seine River. The vessel, named Sea Bubble, can reportedly travel up to 30 kilometers per hour and can seat five people, including a driver. Sea Bubble will also reportedly have foils attached to its hull that will reduce drag and help it float around two feet above the water. Parisian authorities have allowed testing of the vessel on the Seine River next year. If successful, Parisians could soon get sea bubble docking stations along the banks of the Seine. The developers hope that sea bubble vessels could eventually be ordered through vehicle hailing apps like Uber. If successful in France, the team hopes to use sea bubble vessels in waterways in other cities, such as London, Geneva, and elsewhere. The developer hopes the cost of using Sea Bubble will be around 10 euros per trip if the project passes testing in Paris. Singapore tests out delivery by drone. Aircraft manufacturer Airbus is set to trial a drone delivery service, which if successful, could potentially lead to tests of flying passenger taxis. A new drone delivery service to be tested in Singapore next year will see drones being used to deliver parcels. During the trial, drones will navigate a network of delivery and pickup points across the National University of Singapore campus. These drones, also known as octocopters because of their eight blades, will fly automated on routes. These routes will be flown inside interconnecting sky corridors throughout the campus. Upon arrival, the drone will unload the parcel automatically and its recipient will be sent a delivery notification. Airbus says if the drone testing is shown to be safe, it may potentially increase acceptance of passenger flight testing in Singapore. The company has been developing an electric flying vehicle named the City Airbus for several years with the aim of reducing traffic congestion in cities. Airbus believes that people will use vehicles such as these in the future and that they could be operated via transport providers such as Uber. Would you take a ride in a flying taxi? Sound out below and let us know. Futurists pin flying car hopes on electric VTOL vehicles. Ever since the Jetsons, we've looked forward to the promise of flying cars, but it's not just a Hollywood dream anymore. Several companies hope to bring electric VTOL vehicles to the skies. That's VTOL for vertical takeoff and landing. Imagine leaving the office after a long day's work. You get to your VTOL vehicle parked on the roof of your office. Within minutes, you're soaring above skyscrapers and busy commuter traffic. There are no traffic jams for you. A half hour later, you're at your luxury villa by the beach. Sound far-fetched? It's not if you're Google co-founder Larry Page. This is a photo of what's believed to be the first electric VTOL vehicle from Z.Aero, which Page is funding. Lilium Jet is another electric VTOL craft aimed at the masses. This S2 from Joby Aviation will get you there in style. Even ride-sharing service Uber thinks one day passengers will take VTOLs to work. Hopefully that day won't be too much longer. Remember the Jetsons envisioned flying cars more than 50 years ago.